Here's an example of solving for the sinusoidal response using phasers uh, for the system 2x dot plus 1x equals 4 times u of t, where we're applying a sinusoidal input. Uh, we'll do this generally for any omega, and then we'll also deal with the special case of omega equals 1. So the first thing that we want to do is uh, describe the transfer function. And the transfer function is just uh, the output divided by the input where we're using s notation. So if we solve for uh, 2s plus 1 is times x is equal to 4 times u, then x over u is just going to be 4 over 2s plus 1. The uh, sinusoidal response is just equal to m e to the j phi is equal to x over u, where we plug in s equals j omega. And uh, just to remind ourselves what the reasoning behind this was, we said that um, in sinusoids, taking a time derivative is just like multiplying by j omega. Secondly, we said that uh, all we really need to describe here is the magnitude or the gain and the phase of the system. And those are just found by plugging in s equals j omega. So why don't we do that? We have 4 over 2s plus 1 plugging in s equals j omega. That gives us 4 over 2 j omega plus 1. This is a complex number, but it's not easy to divide by 2j omega plus 1. Uh, but we can separately plot the numerator and the denominator on the in the complex plane. Uh, the numerator is actually easy. We can write this as 4, I'm going to use the notation 4 angle 0, where uh, this is the same thing as writing uh, 4 times e to the j 0. And uh, the angle sign just means that we're uh, talking about an angle with respect to the real axis. I can also plot this. 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 is plotted here as a magnitude, and then the angle is 0. The separate case is 2j omega plus 1, where when we plot this in the complex plane, we have 1, and we have 2 omega, and we're talking about a, uh, a complex number with real and imaginary parts, 1 and 2 omega. We can talk about the magnitude of this number. This is just going to be square root of 1 squared plus 2 omega squared. And then the angle here is the arctangent of 2 omega divided by 1. So we can also write this as 4 angle 0 divided by square root of 1 squared plus 2 omega squared angle arctangent of 2 omega. Let me write this over here. m e to the j phi, or same thing as m angle phi, is equal to 4 divided by square root of 1 squared plus 2 omega quantity squared. Uh, here we have the angle of the numerator, which is 0, minus the angle of the denominator. So we have 0 minus arctangent 2 omega. So this tells us that the sinusoidal response, x of t, is going to be equal to m cosine omega t plus phi, where, again, we have square root of 1 plus, this time I'll just write it as 4 omega squared, cosine omega t minus arctangent of 2 omega. Now, if we were to plug in omega equals 1, we can actually evaluate this, x of t is going to be equal to 4 over the square root of 5 cosine of 1t minus arctangent of 2. 
So this is the specific case, and then this is the general case for finding the sinusoidal response using phasers.